this is a perfect example of why body count doesn't matter as well as when I talk on one of my other channels about spirituality I often say we have to stop living in the past and live in the present and my guy live in the present is the overarching idea that I want you to have as I go through your statement because this is great I know you wrote it three weeks ago my apologies for just now seeing it but and it's so serendipitous because I was looking at doing a live on this Wednesday about this very subject matter but let's break your situation down line for line as we go through it I need my reading glasses so I just came across your video because I've been thinking about my situation with this girl I've been talking I've been talking to for a little over a year the video was I was talking about how body count doesn't matter now you've been with her for a little over a year which show, which is telling me that you and her are having a great relationship that you're connecting with each other that you see a long you see a future with this person what we can't do is throw that away simply because of a person's past or because of the social influences we've we are in enduring right now I get you're having this conflict in your mind based on what you're hearing around you the influences around you compared to what she is showing you in the present and you got to focus on that present not the past all right I'm 32 with nine bodies she's 33 with almost 16 all right so she has more every uh, every woman I've had sex with I got to know her that's good her on the other hand she uh, on the other hand yes yeah, she was with most of them she was trying to find a relationship and it didn't work out but she also has a few night one night stands I cannot blame anybody for having one night stands I've had them a lot of people have had them we have we have engaged in meaningless sex it happens but what are they doing right now is what matters not their past what's their mindset right now what's their aura right now that's what matters this is where I don't know if I should still pursue you've already put a year of your life into this woman she's showing you some great things and I'm about to read what the great things are she's been taking care of me in a lot of ways cooking cleaning and washing my clothes she shows good qualities change that to great qualities but sometimes I don't know this is where those outside influences are trying to get you to switch up your game so that you can be just as miserable as those people are instead of you being happy but that little nagging thing in your mind because you're letting these outside influences invade you is causing you to have this issue now she doesn't go out and party why because she's looking for something stable she's looking for a long-term relationship she's not looking to be that party girl she realizes that party girl is what caused some of those one night stands for the most part it could be something different but for the most part I'm going to go ahead and make the hypothesis that that's the reason why she had the one night stands so cut those out of her number you know if she's a different person now cut those out and she's obviously different if she's doing different things she's changed her environment so that she doesn't fall prey to that situation anymore and has spent the last year just with you she works and goes home I hope that y'all are going out together though but she works and goes home which shows that she is not thinking about trying to be out there I imagine that she is she is probably not hanging out with the same friends anymore or if they do hang out it's on her terms not their terms her best friend was a guy she even dated him even dated him but insecurities or not I told her if I'm going to be with you I don't want you in his life she dropped him her dropping him is a huge sign amongst all the other things that she's doing that she values being with you for her life not him that a friendship is not more important than the friendship slash relationship that you have with her recognize that she's in the mindset that that friend may or may not be with her for the rest of her life and she knows that they don't have that pledge but she's looking to be with somebody for the rest of her life I said in a different video your parents will grow old and they will pass on you left your parents house so you left them if you have when you have children if you don't already they will grow up and they will leave you and then you will and then your brothers your sisters your siblings your aunts your cousins everybody else in your life your jobs your co-workers your friends have a greater possibility of leaving you because none of them have pledged to live their entire life with you on a day-to-day -day basis this woman by dropping her friend 
and, and, and said that she wants to be with you because she doesn't want that irritation. She wants to make sure you feel secure. She doesn't want that nagging to be a part of y'all relationship is trying to show you that she is dedicated to you and not that friend. That friend is not more important than you are. So the fact that she dropped that friend is a huge sign of commitment to being with you and not that other person. Your spouse is the only person who says they want to be with you for the rest of their life and your life. Value that, understand what that means and let that, whether it's insecurities or not, let that override any insecurities you have. Let it go, man, let it go. Uh, well, supposedly anyway, hey, nothing is 100%, but if she said it and she's demonstrating it, then believe what she's doing. She doesn't hide her phone. She doesn't keep it on silent or even, uh, she even gave me her pass passcode to her phone. I never asked for it, uh, might I add. So like I said, I just don't know. She has made herself completely transparent to you. She is showing you and giving you saying that, look, I am with you. I'm not with, I'm, that's not my friend. I un And she understands that if you, her, and this guy are around each other, it will, there will be in the back of your mind, you're going to be watching every movement, every look, every gesture, all the words, and you will be, you will take something that may be completely out of context and make it bigger than it really is. Why? Because that little bit of knowing that they have been together will cause you problems. And you're human. It should cause you problems. It will cause you problems. I'm a huge proponent of protecting the relationship. And one of the things that you do to protect the relationship is to move, remove any outside influences that could damage your relationship. She has shown you that. She has even went as far as to say, here's my phone, here's my password, and I'm not hiding it. I, she don't put it on silent. She doesn't do any of those things. So she's demonstrating to you that she has absolutely nothing to hide. Sure, somebody is probably gonna come in the comments say she might have a second hidden phone. She may have his name under a different uh, code and all these different things. People can be slick like that. But if you do you really wanna live your life always contemplating that? Either trust her or don't. And when you do have those thoughts in your mind, you have to immediately immediately replace them with everything she's doing to show you that commitment towards you, show you that she wants to be with you. At this point, the person who can wreck this relationship is you. And then five years from now, when you've experienced other people who were not as good as this woman is to you, you're going to say, damn, I lost a good one. Damn, I didn't have the mindset to recognize that her past is her past, but it does not equate her future. That she's demonstrated that she has changed from her past, that she's learned from her past. She's not going out and partying. She's not putting herself in a situation that could create the one night stands. She's not being friends with a guy that she knows can cause you issues. That is a huge sign, my guy. That is a huge sign that she's dedicated to you. And for all that is worth, I'd rather have a person who's been through some stuff and they've learned from that stuff and now are a better person, more focused, than someone who's never been through anything and you don't know what may happen. You never know what may happen with a person who's having experienced certain things in their lives so her 16 over your nine shouldn't even be a question i'm 51 I, if i were to date somebody who's 33 thankfully my lady is 47 but somebody who's 33 i would never even ask a question about body count because it doesn't matter and all it's doing is causing you the anguish that you're experiencing right now the removal of the friend is a great thing she's taking care of you dude don't mess up a good thing because you are in the process of messing it up. If you allow that negative portion of your brain to take over and control the good part of your brain, the positive part of your brain, and she's demonstrating that positivity. Don't, don't mess it up, bro. Don't mess it up. I'm trying to tell you.